Do you remember yesterday I told you about a problem that I had, right? Mm -hmm. About the cups. About my cups, you're right. So when I was thinking about how to introduce the two cups to the children, I wanted to think about an interesting problem that was uh, real life to them, to make it more meaningful to them. So we have a holiday party coming up soon. So the problem was I had two different containers and I wanted to know which could hold the most juice and whichever cup did hold the most juice, that's what we would use to drink from at our holiday party. When you were playing yesterday in the water table, you were practicing pouring the water, pouring the water back and forth, right? To figure out which cup held more juice. Do you think that the tumbler has more juice? That's this cup. Yeah. What? Well, don't tell me yet. Do you think the goblet held more juice? The That's the goblet. Or do you think that both of the cups hold the same? amount of juice. They hold the same four. When we win the water, they hold four and me and Jermaine played in the water and then it weighed four like those cups. Jeremiah was one of my students talking about the weight of each cup and saying that this one weighs four and it's showing a lot of his thinking about measurement, that he knows weight is a measurement, and he's putting that measurement in with the cups, even though that's not the kind of measuring that we're doing. So a major goal of the lesson is to you know, encourage them to be more precise in, in their, their language and their talk about measuring. So you know, when I'm asking the, the children, tell me, how is it bigger? You know, bigger is an easy term. They know bigger and smaller, but how is it big? You know, is it wider? Is it taller? Is it, you know, words that are a little more specific. I'd like to try to elicit those from them through the talking and through the exploration. I'm going to give each of you a post-it, okay? If you think the tumbler held more juice, you're going to put your post-it here, right? If you think the goblet held more juice, you're gonna put your post-it here. If you think that both of the cups hold the same amount of juice, you're gonna put your post-it here. And when you pick which one you think holds more juice, you need to tell me why. You have to tell me why you think that, okay? Mario, would you like to go first? Okay, so which cup do you think held the most juice? So tell me what you're doing. Tell me what this means. The same. Okay, so Amariel thinks that both cups hold the same. Can you tell me why you think that? Why do you think they held the same amount of juice? Because they both big. Because they're both big? Okay, interesting idea. Okay, tell me why do you think the goblet held more juice? Tell me again. This holds the most. This holds the most? Why do you think that? Because, because it's big. Because it's big? Which cup do you think holds more juice, Jeremiah? Oh, that was an easy decision, huh? Tell me why you think the goblet holds more. Because the goblet weighs four and this one weighs four. So if they both weigh four, do you think they hold the same amount of juice? Or do you still think the goblet holds more? I think. Oh, so you're changing what you thought. So, Nikayla, tell me why you think that both cups hold the same amount of juice. Because these two cups is the same large. Those two cups are the same large? Is that what you're saying? Okay, so tell me She's why. using that word, the amount of large. It tells me she knows something about the quantity of liquid inside of each cup but she's still not quite there. And so the fact that she's saying right. the same nice. amount of large tells me she's still working out in her head what, what that kind of large means. So how many people think that the tumbler holds more juice? One. One, right? How many people think the goblet holds more juice? One. Three. One. The goblet is one person thinks that. And how many people think that they hold the same amount of juice? Three. Three. Okay, well we will have to do some testing and find out the answer. We're going to do that tomorrow, okay?